think that John Everett's question uh, is one of probably a hundred that you can think of in this room that points out why and how we have achieved, uh, achieved mental health care. Uh, I was one of the sponsors of the mental health parity bill. I was one of the people that took on the gentleman when they uh, were trying to uh, stay in their way of mental health care. But here's the point. Imagine that we had adolescents in our school systems uh, who were suffering from cancer. And we said, well, we don't have the money to treat them. Imagine if we had school kids in the school system who had strep throat. And we said, well, we don't have the ability to treat you right now. The point is, could there be a starker example of John's, of, of, of the lack of achieving mental health parity than John's question? If you have students, which we know we do, that need mental health therapy and treatment, by putting it off, by not funding the resource need, it is no different than not taking care of any other health care need that we all have to have served. So I think the answer to your question, John, as governor is, first of all, I'm going to end the war of words uh, against our children, against our school board members, against our hardworking educators. And secondly, I'm going to work collaboratively through a budget process to do the things I outlined. Move money where we're spending now from prisons and put it into preventative care, certainly in our schools. What happens when we don't treat adolescents in our school or kids in our schools? They inevitably have to go into crisis to get treatment. <coughs> this is the only health care need left in Vermont where we require you to go into crisis to get treatment. It's wrong, and I will help end it.